Welcome back to the channel, y'all, man. Breaking news, breaking news. I know it's been a lot of Saints talk as of late, but the, Cal the Pelicans, excuse me, finally made a splash, man. Pelicans have finally dropped their balls. David Griffin finally stopped being a lazy sack of shit, in my opinion, after the, the terrible offseason he had this past season. And the Pelicans have traded for C.J. McCollum. The deal consists of the Pelicans receiving C.J. McCollum, obviously, which is the huge get in the situation. Larry Nance and Tony Snell. Uh, the Trailblazers will get Josh Hart, Thomas Sedaransky, NAW, DD, a future first round pick, uh, and a second round pick. That will go to the Blazers. Pelicans win this trade. This is a great trade for the Pelicans. Great trade for the Blazers because they're just trying to start over. They're just, you know, trying to get picks, trying to get young guys and things like that. So finally, the Pelicans make a move, man. This is going to be big for the franchise. You get CJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram. When Zion Woodson finally gets healthy with Val, you're going to have a squad. Herb Jones. It's going to be a great, great team, great future for the Pelicans, and also a great pre I'm excited, man. They had to make a move at this trade deadline. Hopefully, Zion is close to coming back. They've been kind of quiet on him, so who knows when that's going to happen. But when you see C.J. McCollum, Brandon Ingram, and Zion Williamson on the court, you got a chance to win a lot of games, man. They're also in the, the play-in spot right now. So, the you know, the season started today. They will be in that play-in spot, uh, probably playing the Lakers or somebody to try to get into the playoffs. So, the team is playing well. A great move from David Griffin. Finally, like I said, I call it like I see it, man. It's all season to me was awful for him. Finally makes a move. Kind of, you know, uh, right those wrongs of the off season. And hopefully he's not done. Hopefully he's not done. Hopefully he has some more moves, man. More moves in the tank. I think Devontae Graham is probably on the block. Uh, especially getting CJ and things like that. So Devontae Graham may be on the move. Or they may want to keep him. They may want to keep him and uh, run lineups with him, CJ Ingram. Zion Vell, or uh, even Zion Herb. It's, it's plenty of options. Adding T.J. McCollum, you finally add a player, you know, that's top 25 caliber, top 30 caliber. So when you got Brandon Ingram, Zion, and C.J., you got basically three top 30 players on the court when they're all healthy. Can't beat that. Great move from the Pels. They're finally going in the right direction, and it's just great, man. I won't make this too, too long on them, but like I said, a great, great day, great morning for the Pelicans. Excited to see what they're going to do, you know, after this. As I'm recording, more news is coming out, man. That first round picks that the, the Pels are selling to the Blazers, sending to the Blazers, is the first round pick for this year. If it lands between 1 through 4, the Pelicans keep it. If it's 5 through 14, that pick goes to the Blazers. So, basically, it's, it's a top 4 protected pick for the Pelicans, man. Uh, obviously, you don't want to give up a top 4 pick. Uh, after that, I mean... Number 10 pick, 11 pick in the draft, they can kind of have that. The team is going to be too, too solid. Uh, it's going to be limited roster spots anyway, so that's a that's a good trade on the Pelicans' behalf, man. Like I said, finally proud of David Griffin. Finally did something that's, you know, worked a damn, in my opinion. Let me know what y'all think about the Pels, man. I know I've been a lot of Saints talk, a lot of Saints talk, but the Pels are back on the radar. Football is almost over. I think there's going to be a lot of Pels talk coming up. And what, a, what you know, better way to start it than C.J. McCollum will be turning the Pelicans. Big, big move by the Pelicans. They are looking like they're going to be a playoff contender finally and for real this time and not just, you know, uh, we're trying to make the playoffs and see what happens. This is a huge, huge get. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Do y'all like the move? Do y'all hate the move? Do y'all think more moves are coming? What? We can talk about it in the comments. Um, it's the Boot Tragedies once again, and I'm out.